up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. The best And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you UFC roster is specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Kick to the body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Oh, nice. 
Nice. Very tricky. Edge there. of your seat action as expected so far. Blocks the shot. Just misses with that one. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice high kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That landed. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Real quick leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. And he counters with a left hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What he can Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, big punch land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. If you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, have... order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, huge left hand. Massive head kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big head kick lands. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Big leg kick land. We need the takedown now. Liver kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he landed the right hand there. Move for me. Come on. Keep those feet moving. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to kick it. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, looking to set up that head kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. 15 seconds. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that.
to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. Whoa! But he's not up by much. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Straight right, he misses. What a tricky head kick. Just misses there with the left. Punches there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful kick. Back and forth we go. Punch by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Yeah. Nice, nice Luke and punch. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wait. Him. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. <laughs> Trying to double up on that jab. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful body kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Hands high, hands high. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Seconds to go in this one. Nice knee to the midsection there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Final seconds of round three. That's a big strike right there. 
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. him with the straight hand there, beautifully done by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice one, two there. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice, sneaky head kick. Nice leg kick. Ooh, big shot land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just over three minutes to go now. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like... A... Oh! He's got him hurt here. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick land. Two minutes to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks the strike. Left hook counter. Big leg kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big body kick. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. That right thigh really starting to show some bruising. Final minute now of round four. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Still nice body kick land. Come on, man. Let's get that take down. Score some points. 30 
seconds to go. Sidekick. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Liver kick. Connect so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. The powerful leg kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. How about that shin? Checks the leg kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Hands up, hands up. Hey. Wow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big knee there to the chest. Boom. Big jab. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. That's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by the coach.
the buzz. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.